Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everybody, I'm going to be talking about Bad Boys for Life. It's the third movie in the Bad Boys franchise, released on January 17, 2020, directed by Adil and Bial, starring Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. It's an action movie that I enjoy. I will say I think it's my least favorite of the three. There'll be no spoilers, no plot reveals, just my thoughts on my first viewing of the movie. So it's set sometime after the second movie. I think it's funny, it's enjoyable, has good action. I think it lacks in the plot, in the way they decided to tell the story, uh, what chapter in his life, or his, I say, as Will Smith or Martin Lawrence. I didn't find it too well done in that in that way. But my biggest takeaway from this, watching it, is Martin Lawrence's performance. I think Will Smith is fine. Uh, the comedy's there. It's funny. It's got moments. But it feels like Martin Lawrence is on some kind of antidepressant or a Valium there's something keeping him a barrier between him and being a hundred percent. So as the movie goes on, I that feeling grew that there's just something off about his performance. Um, it's the way he speaks, his mannerisms, and I think his eyes are always fucking lit. But that's just could be me taking. This whole thing could be just me, you know, my impression of it. I could be wrong. I'm not looking to um, oust anybody in that sense. I just noticed it, and it carried me to the end of the movie. Like, there just seems to be a, a disconnect in some sense. So, they tried to tell a story that I didn't too much enjoy, where, you know, they're going to go for a theme, uh, the reveals... So, in that case, eh, it's not, um, like I said, not my favorite of the franchise. This is the third movie. I just got an enjoyment out of it. I, I enjoy action movies. It's not bad. It's funny. You find yourself laughing. The side characters, some are reoccurring. There are some little Easter eggs from the other movies. Although not the ones I was hoping for. You know, I'm always looking for, um, uh, you know, bring back the, uh, what was her name from the first movie? Tia Leone. Make some connections to the second movie's villain. And it kind of didn't go on the path I thought it would. But uh, it's, a fu it's fun. I, I, I enjoyed it. Laughed a lot. I see the good aspects of it, although it did feel a little bit like Michael Bay directed it, and I think he does a cameo in it. It has uh, some of the staples of the franchise. It's slow-mo shots, it's car chases, and so on and so forth. I'm not too keen on the villain. Well... Uh, one of the villains, let's say. I wasn't too jazzed where the story was going in that aspect. But if you're going to just want to go out and enjoy yourself, you're a fan of the franchise, it's going to be okay. It's good. A little better than average, probably. And you get enough of the uh, charm of the franchise. I think they're both... Very capable and good at what they do. And it comes off. You can see the... There are moments in... In this movie where... 
you realize the maturity of the characters or the real life experiences that made them maybe better actors and so I didn't feel it was a call phone it in type thing. It's just that that nitpick about well I got a couple, so let's say my nitpicks are Martin Lawrence's performance and the kind of theme plot storyline they went with just didn't interest me that much. But like I said, it's fun. It carries you through to the end. It's got a little bit of a twist reveal that I think people would like. Although, I don't think the end actually addresses it. So you've got this big, huge reveal. Right, maybe they'll do more. I always wonder why they wait so long to do uh, these type of movies. Or maybe one of the actors is very busy and... You know, they take off in a sense, but, you know, I don't know if we should wait this long. Maybe the uh, the thrill isn't there, but I give it a thumbs up. I mean, I had fun. I just have some nitpicks and observations that kind of carried me through to the end. Doesn't ruin the experience for me. You know, the, the jokes hit most of the time. You got the banter between them. Like I said, the charm is still there. The framework and the foundation from what Bad Boys is, it's, it fits and it, it works for me. Because I kind of like the first movie storyline better. The second movie's action is just amped up and there are some amazing sequences in that movie. And this one's you know, it's pretty good. It's... It'll, you'll have you'll you'll enjoy it to some extent, I I think. So, give Bad Boys for Life a shot. I think um, on the average, it'll be enjoyed. Everybody have a good one. I'll talk to you all later.